there. Brilliant to see you again. I'm having a bit of trouble with my paint. It's completely stuck in the bottle. One more try. Right, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well, not to worry. This giant splat has given me a great idea. Let's try something. Turn splats, dribbles, plops and dollops into hilarious splat monsters. Let's make it! We'll need some things from the doodle drawers. <laughs> some coloured paper. <laughs> some tubes or containers of runny paint. <laughs> and a black felt-tip pen. Whoa! Now, to make a splat monster like this one here, get yourself a piece of paper and some paint and squeeze it over the page like this. It looks like a splat. Splat all over the paper. <laughs> now try some dribbles. Get yourself a new piece of paper, some paint, and start dribbling. Dribble all over your card. Now try some splodges. Get yourself a new piece of paper and some paint and start splodging all over the card. And now leave all your pictures to dry. <laughs> when all the paint's dry, choose your favourite pattern. I like splats. And now draw yourself a monster. Make it as silly as you like. It could have five legs, two heads, uh, suckers for feet or tentacles for arms. Go wild! <laughs> but don't draw the eyes yet. For these, get two white circles and draw on black dots. Now stick them onto your monster. Let's give him some eyebrows. There, he's ready to cut out. Let's do that, but be careful because scissors are sharp. <laughs> Looking good, hey? Oh. There, great. And you can try making lots of different monsters using all of your different patterns. It's a dribble monster with teeth. It's a splodge monster with three eyes. Lots of splat monsters. And the great thing about them is that they're not real monsters. Because <laughs> there's no such thing. Oh. 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 I spoke too soon. The shapes are asleep. Again. Mm. Let's wake them up! I... Right. 
triangle. I am a triangle. The triangles are making a picture. What's it going to be? Can you guess? It's an eagle! Well done, triangle! It's time to get back on the show! <laughs> <laughs> I love those shapes. They're brilliant. I love it. It's hockey here. Yeah. Minute make time. Minute make time. Oh, it's minute make time. <laughs> Here's what we're going to make today. It's a pom-pom acrobat. Look at him. He's ready for action. And to make him, you'll need... Two straws. Mm, lovely. Some glue, a pencil, a pipe cleaner, a pom pom, and two googly eyes, which you can get from an arty and crafty shop. I'll be back in a tick. I've got them. There are my googly eyes. I'll put them over here. For safekeeping. There, perfect. Now, do you think it's possible to make this pom pom acrobat in just one minute? Not a chance. Well, let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to make it at the end. Stop the car! Let's go! Get your pom pom and pull it apart a little bit in the middle. Then get your pipe cleaner and put some glue in the middle, like that. And then Push the two together and squidge so they're stuck in. Oh, there we go. Bend the pipe cleaner upwards like that. Then grab a pencil and twirl the end of the pipe cleaner around the pencil like that. And then do the same on the other side. This fixes our acrobat perfectly. Now, let's move him to the side, get our two straws and push those together. That's the frame. Let's take our acrobat off and start feeding him through the straw. But of course, he needs some eyes. So let's give him some eyes. There's one. Stick one. And a second eye coming up right now. I've done it. And there is my pom-pom acrobat. Hi. Thanks, Tucky. Now here comes the fun part. Go, Acrobat, go! Woo! Look at that! Fantastic! And if you've got more than a minute, you could try different colours. Like these ones here. They're different shapes too, like this ballerina with two pom-poms and this monkey. Pom-pom acrobats made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Pull the top of the pom-pom apart and stick the pipe cleaner into the gap. Then bend the pipe cleaner like this. Now bend both ends of the pipe cleaner around the pencil to make loops. Next, take one of the straws and squeeze the end of it onto the other straw. Thread the straws through the loops on the pipe cleaner. Then glue on the eyes and leave it to dry. Now your pom-pom acrobat is ready for action. Try making it in a minute. Oh, I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> I'm yellow. I'm green. I'm pink.
I'm purple. Well done, everyone. See you next time. Now it's time to frame it. Frame it. Frame it. Now have a look at this. This owl is made using wallpaper. It's fun to do and looks so good you'll be able to frame it. You'll need wax crayons, cardboard, coloured paper, Scissors, glue, a pen, and some wallpaper samples. Most people have scraps of wallpaper around the house, but you can pick up samples from almost any DIY shop. Ask an adult to help you find some. You'll need the patterned wallpaper with lumps and bumps on it, like this. First, draw a really simple picture on the back of your wallpaper. This is going to be an owl. Now, carefully cut out all of the different shapes that make up your picture, but try not to go over the lines. If you find anything hard to do, ask an adult to help you. When you've cut out all of your shapes, stick them down onto a big piece of cardboard. Leave a gap between each shape, like this. Then cover your picture with another piece of paper and hold it in place. Now watch this. Because wallpaper is covered in lumpy patterns, something amazing happens when you rub over it with the side of a chunky wax crayon. Here come his eyes, his beak and his wings. If you want, you can rub on different coloured crayons to make it look even better. Isn't that fantastic? A wallpaper rubbing of an owl. You can try any picture you like. How about a cat? Or even a dog. You can do anything you like, really. What a great way of making a really clever picture. Now all that's left to do is... Frame it! Wasn't that a clever idea? Now take a look at this. I've got something to show you. This is my magic pencil and it can draw pictures all on its own. Don't believe me? Watch this. Can you guess what my magic pencil is drawing? What could it be? It's a tennis player! Well done, Magic Pencil. Watch this. Hello, Mr Plate. Hello there. How are you feeling today? A bit flat. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, can you think of anything to make using me? Do you know, Mr Plate? I think I can. You've just given me a great idea. Let's make something. Oh, yeah. A magnificent paper plate puppet dragon. Wow! Let's make it! Yes, let's. We'll need some things from... The Doodle Jaws. Absolutely. <laughs> some sticky stuff. <laughs> some coloured paper. <laughs> and three paper plates. Coloured ones like these work really well. Now, if you haven't got any coloured plates, and you've only got white ones like this, don't worry, you can paint two green and one red. Now, to make your paper plate dragon like this one here, first take a red plate and fold it in half to make a mouth. There we 
go, over it goes. Fold it down there. Now take a green plate and fold that in half too. Like that. And then stick these two plates together at the edges. Here and here. Stick these together and then leave them to dry. Now get some scissors and cut the other green plate in half. But be careful because scissors are sharp. Ooh. Ooh. Next, stick one half of the green plate to the bottom of the red plate just by gluing the edges here. When it's dry, make sure you can still fit your hand inside your dragon puppet. There, perfect. Now let's make some dragon ears, and for that, we need the other half of our green plate. Let's take some scissors and very carefully cut two pointy shapes. Now these need to be really pointy, like that. There, two ears. Let's stick them onto our dragon with sticky tape. There's one. And there's two. Now let's get our paper and draw two eyes and two teeth. Then take some pink or red paper and draw a long pointy tongue and two nostrils. And then cut all of your bits out very carefully. Now we've got all our bits, we need to stick them on. And last but not least, because it's a dragon, he needs his teeth. A little bit of sticking. And then if we put it on, a little bit of bending. There, there's one tooth. And now here comes tooth number two. Stick and bend. There! Perfect! Hello, Mr. Dragon! Why, hello, Mr. Beaker. You're looking very fine today. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Why don't you try making your own paper plate dragon? It'll fire you up. <laughs> Time to go! Time to go! Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. See you soon. If you like making things like Mr Maker, visit bbc.co.uk forward slash cbeebies for more ideas. Thank you.